Good evening everyone, here we go again, MRCX, Friday nights are back, here this time, at most at the home of where MRC began, Silverstone. Well, it's the home that where it began, it's the home of half the, half of the league, home of the guy, the man who set the league up to begin with, home of a lot of people in the league, with a lot of British drivers. And this is always a historic track in on the F1 calendar. Silverstone for round nine of uh, round nine, yes, of sorry, round eight rather, of yeah, thirteen of the MRC season thirteen. And so joining me tonight, you've heard him already. Uh, two Brits. Make sure you get your subtitles ready. It's Mr. Grant Swain, the Scotsman himself. How are you, sir? I'm doing very well, my, my, uh, my, my stuff, I was going to call you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> winky. Aye, Friday night. What more could you have there? Yep, 100%. Friday night. This is what Fridays are all about. A wee bit of yep. MRC. And uh, you get I to hear... A bit of entertainment. Uh, yep. Oh, I don't want to hear myself. <laughs> yep, 100%. So British well, Trek, two British commentators. What else can you hope for? Maybe an interpreter to help people understand us. Apart from that. <laughs> <laughs> Try my best to make sure people can understand me. But I do talk quite quick. <laughs> As do so. I. So obviously MRCX, we always have a wee bit a few stipulations going on. This time round, we have a reverse grid with a 100% race. So, all of, so you, Mr. Uh, Kid Dynamite, the man who's been on fire this season in MRCX, will start right at the back of the grid. And we have the man who made his debut on Wednesday night there against, your, against yourself, Grant, Mr. Bobo. Oh, yeah. He, start, he starts on pole. Obviously, he made, his, he, he made his debut in Japan on Wednesday night, and he got himself pole position on his debut. So, I'm sure he's looking good for... A he was, uh, I was, I'm sure I was behind him at one point, um, and he was just constant consistency, repeated, repeated around that track behind him. And at one point, I was actually struggling round the corners, round the S bends. Um, but no, he, pole position, I think you could pull away here if he gets the uh, corners and apexes. Um, but the thing is, you need the correct exit. Yeah. But the guys at the back of the pack, the, the elite drivers and things like that, I do dare say we'll see a few of them in the top ten. What, by the end of the lap, first lap? Um, I'll give it six laps. Okay. And who's going to be I, worried? I, 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 I don't want to sound bad against people that's in the bottom ten. I don't mean bad against them. It's just we know how quick like, Kid Dynamite, Bailey... Um, Sarge and those guys are unbelievable at times. Oh, 100%. So, obviously, oh. again, as I say, Silverstone, a very historic circuit. What's your thoughts on I, the track? I, 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 one of my favourite tracks, Silverstone. I really enjoy this track. Um, there's loads of areas that good overtakes and there's corners that you can go too wide if you're clean enough and I've done a few corners that shouldn't be too wide and I've went too wide round corners like that myself with a couple of guys um, but no it's definitely one of my favourite tracks what about yourself? It just needs quite it's growing on me if I'm being honest it's starting to grow on me yeah I think once once you start getting your exits and entries right in this track it's it, it's a flown track very flown yeah 100 percent. especially it's, my favorite se section is the Mag maggots and beckets ah that's, yes the yeses yeah it's got to be the favorite section of the track fair enough well then so just to reiterate that we will go through the grid so then we have bobo as i say starting all pole position again two races in a row for him obviously of course he is guaranteed to start on pole with the reverse grid. We have Armagh Red, the set my 
fellow Northern Irishman in P2, with the current leader of the, or the current championship leader of uh, Tier 3, Stu, rounding off the podium, followed by Jerry Jamer in P4, Ghost Rider, my teammate in P5, Smith F1 in P6, the current MRCX Challenger leader, Davy Hornet in 7th, Airways in P8, Jaxta is in P9, and Wimax rounds out the top 10, followed by Single Track in P11, Bit W in P12, Lothy in P13, Europel is in P14, the MRCX Elite Champion Saviour is in P15, Cheese Star Snipes is in P16, Chris Bailey, the uh, MRCX Challenge Elite Number 2 is in P17, <laughs> Anton is in P18, and the current Championship Leader of the Elite of uh, MRCX Elite is Kid Dynamite at the back. So, Just on that note about Chris Bailey, that guy, I, I, he's been so unlucky in previous years, uh, seasons. Yeah, Saviour's just something else though. Yeah, so is Kid Dynamite, even Anton, he's... Oh yeah. Since I've been with MRC um, roughly about two years now, and Anton in the last... Well, since his games came out, oh my god, that guy's... Unbelievable. So everyone starts rounding off the grid. We are almost ready to go here at Silverstone with 100% race. So we're here for the long run. As the, the lights come up, we've got 52 laps ahead of the drivers here in Silverstone. Five lights are up and we go racing in Silverstone. It's a great launch from Arma Red. Bobo has to switch to the inside to try and cover him off. An amazing start from Ghost Rider in the middle of the field. There's contact. Ghost Rider. I think it's Ghost Rider who's been taken round. But a great start from Bobo in the lead of the race. Bit of a con bit of contact if it was Ghost Rider. Aww. Bit more contact in the middle of the sector. We'll switch down the field a little bit. We've got Wimax side by side with your appellant. A wee bit of contact. Between the two MRs, the two drivers, Saviour's got a five second penalty, there's a driver off track, it's Anton. Oh no. You've literally just, you've, you've literally said he's been consistent all year, he's now round. Yeah, sorry Anton, I do apologise. Oh, that's, now that's a start, a brilliant start from Stu, by the way, who's straight wow. up to P2. I Arapel or really Arapel, whatever he's in yep. <laughs> yeah, places. What? Well, yeah, P4 off the start. Wow. Good shot. Unreal start from Arapel. Oh, Jay Murray's down. Oh no. We've got our first retirement and a safety car. Oh, Ghost Rider's no. been eliminated. The Ghost Rider has been cra has crashed outside of cops. Oh. That's my teammate. And I feel bad now. <laughs> I like Ghost Rider, I speak to him a few times. Oh yeah. I, I don't like seeing, I mean this happened to myself this early, but and probably yourself and many other drivers. Oh, but I hate seeing, seeing this thing happen in the first lap. Yeah, so uh, pretty, uh, so that's calmed it down a wee bit. We've had some start yeah. to this race. We've got Jackster who's going to box early on. Let's have a wee quick look. Obviously, I don't think, have you... You have commentated the MRCX, haven't you, Grant? You've done it last week, and it's been with myself, didn't you? I've, I think I've done cover a, a few tiers as well. Um, but you've done a uh, MRCX, though, haven't you? Yeah, I have done. Yep. Right. So obviously, as you know, then we uh, yeah, have a new thing. Yep. <laughs> uh, we are looking for livery of the day. So let's have a wee gander down the liveries. What I will say is. I think there's a few contenders here already, just looking through it. Yeah, I'm the, I agree with you. Bobo looks quite nice, the wee purple and black. Yeah. With that shark, with that uh, shark sort of, or wolf sort of bite, mouth, on the thing as well. Yeah, I like the saviors, that's nice. Um, I like um, single tracks as well, that, that was a good take on what... Um, it was the old Williams he's gone for the day, yeah. Martin. Who else? Who's did you say? You said Saviors. Saviors. Oh, he's actually changed it up. He's gone for the uh, his nation his national colours. Yep. The green, black, not green, uh, the <laughs> black, yellow, and 
Wimax, I think Wimax. Yeah, and uh, White. Wimax. He always yeah, has a Wimax decent livery to be fair. Let's have a look. Oh, that well, is nice. That is really yeah, nice. Yeah, it's, it's going to be hard. <laughs> 100% it's been. It's really going to be hard. Tell you what. I can, you can give like five. Then I get, I'm, I'm, they're all actually quite nice looking liveries, but there's a few wow liveries in there. And they're going to have one there. Uh, obviously, I say, uh, I've already seen it. Stoob in P2. His yeah. looks quite nice with the way the black, or the way the green and orange sort of work. Smitty F1's went for an 80s look. If ever we gone there. Ah, he has already right, actually. <laughs> he has to be for Airways is have to say Air, Airways has gone a wee bit busy. Yeah, there's a is there an old Renault in that oh, these yes. colours. I'm I sure didn't think of it. Okay, well, Anton Anton has went on to the intermediate tires. Sorry to interrupt you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I told you the guys are menace. <laughs> <laughs> Arma Red, P3, what have you done? Well, he's went for the green and white. He's went for the Northern Irish colours. Northern Irish colours. Would you like to see? But, uh, but it's, it's, it's only, what I will say, it's only top, or thing that I, I agree with is green. <laughs> well, not, we're not, not getting, a big fan of. Well, we're not getting into that. <laughs> no, I'm just saying there's one colour I'm not a fan of, that's all. No, no. No, we'll not get into the other part of it, the no. other reason. <laughs> Who said that anyway? <laughs> <laughs> Chris so, um, Bailey's. Sorry? I like Chris Bailey's as well. Where... I see if you look at Baby Hornets. Baby Hornets went for a green one as well. Yeah, I sort of, I, to be honest, I've sort of helped him with that livery. I'm not going to lie. Did you sneeze? I think about that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I just go green. <laughs> nah, like Simon's not going to like you saying that. <laughs> no, Brilliant. Simon's alright. Your wee papa's alright. <laughs> so, uh, Bit Carl has went for the uh, chrome livery for the uh, McLaren as well. Yeah. You know something? <laughs> what is? Your wee Yankee Danky Doodle. You seen his one? Hey? Jai Murray's. Oh, uh, where is he? Right down at the bottom of the grid. Wow. Okay, very bright. <laughs> yep. But, I guess that's the end of it, because the safety car is going to come in. Yep. So we will switch back to the front of the field. And Sorry see. to interrupt you. A Anton's on the softs. Softs, he was on. He was on the inters. Yeah, he's on softs. Sorry to interrupt you there. No, you're bad. Don't worry. If you want to interrupt me, you can interrupt me. If you've got something good to say. Well, that, um, depends on the subject. <laughs> Just as Come. long as nobody in the chat asks me to say anything, because <laughs> uh, it's not going to happen tonight. <laughs> well, we're coming round Vale now. Bobo has gone early. And Stoob has stuck with him out of the Vale Chicane, heading down the Hamilton Strait uh, towards Valley, round the farm curve, up towards the loop. And everyone seems to have got away quite easily, quite equally. Yeah, but it's, it looks a lot cleaner, rather than being very tight and claustrophobic. <laughs> yeah, to be fair. Wimax has gone for a move. So a L I can't even see that boy's name. Europeal. Aye. That Go one. ahead and make a move on Arma Red. He's Good got the move, move done. Yep. Clean. Nice. Lovely. Brilliant yep, move. I, get, I was just saying that, that there's one corner for instance that you can go too wide. This is one reason why I like the tractors. You've got to think about things like this if you're defending as well. Which is the amount of room in track that you can go too wide on corners and things. Oh yeah. You deef. Oh, <laughs> oh Loppy's oh, retired. Loppy's it. And with another safety car, Loppy has lost it into but in to the start of Beckett's it looks like. Oh. Uh, didn't get to see it never seen it. 
wonder if there was any contact made or if he just lost it, which is very easy to do in, in high fuel, dirty air, and probably cold tires as well. And well, so if you have zero traction on it. Oh yeah. That's not, uh, gonna help matters. So four laps in, we haven't had we've not had a full lap of racing. Save your speed. Has he? Yep. As a single track. Single track. Yep. Wonder if they're gonna go into the hearts. You wouldn't get them. Well, you obviously no, wouldn't I'm get the hearts to the end. I'm from just thinking if, they, if they're thinking ahead, if there's going to be more safety cars just to skip up the, the grid a bit. Very true. Obviously, they drop to the back. And yep. Yeah. They've listened to you. Well, save well, your head anyway. You what, what did I say? Save your head to you. Yep. By lap six. I said there would be a few elite drivers in there, you've got Chris Bailey, Kid Dynamite in there already. What, the, right at the back? Or, no, P7 Chris Bailey's at the P7 and 8, yeah. Good start. A great start from them. Uh, don't get called Mystic Ninja for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Bailey running the, uh, 800, the 800 race livery for Williams. Yeah, it's... Nice that. There's Kid Dynamite. I don't think he's changed his livery in about five races. <laughs> you know something, I'm just going to, during the, it's going to be a long race, 100%. So during the race, I'm just going to go and keep going through, memorise who's what livery. Um, <laughs> the reason being, we've already got two drivers down. Mm -hmm. So, wouldn't be fair just to decide on the cars on track. But it finishes, if you know what I mean. Hopefully no one else ends up with DNF, I'm, I've got my fingers and toes crossed. <laughs> well, it's been, obviously this circuit's been away a long t here a long time. Very long time. Oh, what, what, what do you know the, the weather? I, we do not know what weather we're looking at for the race, to be fair. You know, I'm quite, so usually when you race Bratton or Solverson, sorry, it's usually wet. The last few races I've done has been wet. Yeah, true. So obviously, we start the F1 started in Brooklyn's, obviously, which is a new corner name on the circuit mm. for the championship, and that's in, down in the twenties, like so, a quite a quarter way a while ago. But the first race in Silverstone was that well, wasn't held and didn't until 48, 1948. 1948. Indeed. Um, well, actually, there's actually been a few different tracks have been used for Britain. Can you name a few? I've named obviously Silverstone and the name Brooklyn. Brands Hatch. Brands Hatch is one, correct, yep. E not kill. <laughs> it's no Formula One, but it's a track. <laughs> 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 It's one I've used myself, actually. Is that right? Yeah, I've done track days on, not kill. It's, it's quite a fun track. There's another one which is known for, which the place that it is, is known for another sport. Which is actually happening this weekend. What, what track are you talking about? Another track that we have that has been used in Formula One for the British race, and it's been used this this weekend for another. But the pla the place of where it is, like the town right. of where it is, is is being used this weekend for a certain uh, sporting event. Right, give me a clue. What kind of area of the mainland no. are we talking? Uh, northwest. Northwest. Well, north slash midland west. Oh, uh, something's, something's drawn me out. Oh, I don't know, mate. Just think of what sporting events are happening this weekend as well, if you can. <laughs> I can't remember what I've done five minutes ago, mate. You're asking <laughs> me to yeah, come on, mate. It is entry. Entry. <laughs> As we know, it's the uh, Grand National. Grand National this weekend. Yep. See, tell you. Um, 
I'm no Mystic Ninja, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not so Mystic, are you? <laughs> right. So, have it safety car in this lot? Yep, we've got another restart. We've had six laps of the racing, and we haven't had a single lap, a full lap of racing. No. So, let's see. Where is the hole going to go at the same point as last time? He is. He's gone. He's away. Yep, Stoops. and Stoops. Sorry, yep. Stoops on and I'm Oh, oh where's the driver's lost it? Oh, that Chris that? Bailey. Oh, uh, where's Bailey? He's lost it out of the Hamilton, oh. out, of the, out of Vale into the pit entry. Oh, uh, at least it's just a nose, nose, co uh, nose cone. Nose he's lost. <laughs> and the good thing is, he's on six laps of mediums, which maybe isn't a good thing, but again, he could probably go into the strategy of hards and try and gain his heel back up the grid. Possibly. Well, to be fair, he's actually quite lucky he didn't go out. Yeah. With that crash as well, so... He had to ride in a kisser. He did all right. So, Bobo's still leads from Steve with another yellow flag going through Brooklyn's. Anton's lost it again. The other sort of Brit Frenchman, whatever he wants to be called these days. But here we go. Oh, Steve runs wide. Europel gets past him. As Steve runs wide, it's at uh, the cops. Europel is absolutely flying so far today. Guys are unreal tonight. He's actually got the fastest lap at 143.8. Good start from him to be fair. That's on medium tyres. Not that's, a yellow flag. It's a good good pace for race oh, pace. Oh, Anton's lost it again. Oh, merde. <laughs> Mandy, how are you? Welcome to the stream. Good In evening, Mandy. You're here for a little long day. As Kit Dynamite has got past Armar Red, and there's the fastest lap of the night. Wow. 32.3 as Wimax, not Wimax, was there anyone? Nope, maybe not. Thought there was someone trying to make a move into the farm curve, which that don't, doesn't seem to be happening, but... So Bobo leads from Europel, followed by Stube and Wimax in P4, then Kit Dynamite is up to P5 now. I'm sure he's loving life now after Chris Bailey loves it. As he dives to the inside of Wimax into Brooklyn's. Brilliant move. Just uh, watching Sorry, Arapel at the front here. He's, he's itching his ways. He's looking for a gap to pass Bobo, but give Bobo credit. He's, he's stuck with the pole position for the first eight laps. He's doing all right. He's pr yeah. Arapel's practically pushing him through. He really is. The middle sector. As we head through Maggots Beckett's. Oh, he's run a lot away there. Oh, yeah, but with a wee bit of a twitch there, one oh, there. Oh, he's out! Right. And he's oh, out! he's out! That is heartbreak for me. That's oh. such a great start on another safety car. That he is heartbreak. A brilliant race there, Just one way, slight mistake into the Maggots Beckett section. Yeah, I wonder if he's tried to. I'm not saying anyone was at fault, but when Bobo's came back on track, he's maybe tried to give him the room and it's he's lost it because that is quite a bit tricky corner that if you don't have to right the left hander onto the <laughs> DRA straight 100 percent so airways decides to hit off them meet off them uh soft compound tires as does jamer off the mediums the front runners have still stayed out at the moment jack's still obviously boxed under the pre not jack's the, uh Yes, Jackson and G-Star obviously boxed under the previous safety car. Yeah. Or the first safety car, rather, so... As Bobo finally catches him. Yeah, that was the kind of point I was trying to make earlier on with the guys at the back going on the hard tyres and... Trying to see it. Jai Murray and Nairways, they've just went on... I mean, look at G-Star and Saviour now, they're up to they're near the top ten. Well, G-Star is. Yeah. Um, Going for the long the, run. The saviour, he's back up to P11 and he's all on four laps of hard, so and he's a safety car, so. He's, he's doing, I think, I think saviour will be. I'll bet you to get up into there. But look at Kadayumi, the P3. P3 
P3 for Kid Dynamite, yeah, so that's him practically. He leads the elite tier again at the moment. So he's back on a perch at the, uh, in the lead of the elite tier, while Bobo still currently leads the challenger tier with Stube and P2. Tell you what, these championship seasons are really starting to light up in every tier, especially tier 3 and especially the sport the uh, comp tier yeah I, I i mean i was going to enter x and things like i've done one race and i was busy the other and like kevin well, there's not even any point trying to put it i'd rather watch somebody else go into the race so i think next season i'll go back into the x well of course you are a champion of mrcx yeah we well, might not, was, not forget the challenger too Actually, quite a hard battle. Um, I had a driver in, and he was leading. Um, but I felt I would have obviously got the points I needed to try and win it. But he left, and the closest one after the final races, I think I'd won it with two races to go. I All think right. it was 60 or 70 odd points ahead. So it was, uh, it was a good season that. And now I went downhill. <laughs> <laughs> I know my pace is here, it's just I need to try and keep the Oh, Bobo has nearly con made contact with the safety car, he's running side by oh, side with him. He needs to watch that, he could end up with a penalty. Or DQ, could be anything like that. But that was yeah, really close DQ, there for yeah. Bobo. So, how many safety cars is that we've had in 10 laps? Uh, three. This is the third already on this circuit. So of course, That's obviously, uh, uh, again with this circuit, uh, Lewis Hamilton with the most obviously wins at this circuit. Yeah. With eight some, now. Some, is it eight? Yep. So of course, and obviously the track has no, the people who run Silverstone have now named. The back of the main, the start finish straight after him. It's now called the Hamilton Straight. That's a long straight, that, and it's a long name for it, eh? <laughs> no, no, it's the start finish straight, none of the DRSs. But, uh. There actually has been a lot of British winners at this circuit. Yeah, and you got Jensen Button. Button, Button. Button. Um, David Kiltab, did he win? Yes, he's won twice yeah. at this circuit. Um, Jackie Shoot, no, he was a. Yes, no. he's won it twice also. Yeah. Um, who else? I'm trying to think, who else? Damon Hill? Uh, Yes, Damon Hill has won in 1994, but anyway, the safety car is coming back in, and it looks like Bobo has went early. He's not hanging about. No, not at all. He wants to get racing. But here we go again. Lap, 50, lap 11 of 52 here at the Silverstone Circuit. Right in the right in the uh, center of England. Of course, Silverstone. Obviously, I think it's uh, Northampton direction. Is where yeah. Silverstone is located. I'm sure um, someone in the comments can correct us with that one. Yep. That's. Your Monday, she'll she'll tell you. <laughs> but... How many have we got in the uh, watching? So we have a. I'm not sure if I'm being honest. I think it's a show and six or something at the moment. Yeah, sure. But whoever is. Oh, Baby Hornet's got a three second time penalty. Oh, no, Baba. Wonder if you just moved Mandy, we're, one, we're saying. Uh, I mentioned obviously so where the location of where Silverstone is, it's just about like Northampton sort of direction of England. We we're hoping you could correct us if we were wrong with that. 
But while we're back, we're talking away here. Stoob is all over the back of Bobo at the moment. Look how close it is. We've got the front wing view camera at the moment, and he's all over the back of Bobo. Been some race so far. Haven't had it. I don't think we've had it the RS lap yet. So I think this will be the first. Mm. No, you're you're right. There. I don't even think anyone's had a look at that yet. No. Well, we're lap twelve. So still a long way to go here. But no, still no DRS. So I wonder. But I'll tell you what, Kid Dynamite, all over the back of Stoob here. He's really caught up. Waymax has dropped back a bit. Armai Res still still sticking within the DRS of Waymax. Yeah, I'm on it now, I'm on it now. <laughs> I couldn't get my cursor in there, I don't know if it was on the controller. What is? I was trying to flick through it to watch the battle that you were talking about and it wouldn't let me move. I don't know if it, it was the... Speaking, oh, speaking of a battle, the bit W was near side by side, oh. Bobo's lost it! Bobo's oh, out! Oh no, Bobo! Dynamite up to P2 as well. Yep, so Bobo oh. had lost it out of chapel and with another safety car. This race is going to go on forever at this point. Yeah. I could tell you a wee funny story, but... At the depends, same time... Depends I how funny it is. Be, I, I, no, well, I don't want to be kicked off YouTube either. Oh, so. God. Okay, I then give it to we'll yourself then. I think we'll leave yeah. that for another day. Keep that to yourself. <laughs> no, I don't keep nothing to myself. No, don't worry, you're not wrong there. So... I think we'll leave Liver of the Day right till the end there. Eh? Yep, 100%. Oh, Northamptonshire, Mandy says, near Toecaster. No, Toecaster. Right. Or something like that. So, North I was right with, North with Northampton, but except it was the county of Northamptonshire. Well, we'll give you that. See? I would give you that. I would give you that. I know my geography. Everybody be sure to give you that. Heading around Luffield now, obviously, with the safety car. We have a new race leader now as well, with Stoob leading the way for the challengers. But he's got two very fast drivers behind him, being Kid Dynamite and Wimax. Arma Red and, uh, and Baby Hornet. Rounding off the challenger podium at the moment. Tell you what, last couple of races, your man Arma Red has been fairly pacing. He's, yeah, he's, he's he's quick on his day as well, Arma. He is alright. Finally, we have another Northern Irish man in the league. And finally, not the only one. I take it he supports Linfield then. I don't go there. Don't even go there. <laughs> <laughs> That's your team's rivals, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> Arch rivals. Uh, who's uh, who's the leader of the Challenger Tier X? It is Baby Hornet down in P5 at the moment. Baby Hornet. Oh, Stub nearly went into the back of the safety car there. Wouldn't be one of that if that's a, if oh. like anyone to do it. They don't want Stub doing it. Stub, keep the kiss until after dark. <laughs> He's quite a, he's a quick driver stood as well, right? He is, I've had he's a few flying. Races with him. Yeah, he's flying at the moment in the uh Yeah. In your tier at the moment in the comp tier. Currently leading, of course. I just wish I was able to I don't know what it is, it's it's probably me, but I just wish I could finish a race in the So you mentioned about the uh standings of each tier, obviously the with the challenger. Uh, Simon currently uh, Simon currently leads, and it's uh, currently Smith in P2, behind him by 15 points. 15 so well, he's at the moment. He's now. down. Smith's down in P11. I Baby think Hornet's uh, P5. Baby Hornet's obviously third at the moment overall. Yeah. For his and tier. Baby Hornet's chasing his first title as well. Yes, of course he is. And I've uh, obviously I'm good friends with. Uh, 
Mr. Simon, so uh, yeah. he is really gunning for it this year, he says. I, I, I go on well with the choir boy as well. <laughs> um, oh, the lad's got a set of lungs and he can sing. <laughs> hey, let's put a vote out there. Get everyone to vote on. Who says we get Simon on stream to give us a sing song? We have wanted this for three seasons. I have tr I've already uh, said to Simon if he wins this league title, he is to come on stream the next day, the next race after he wins it to sing. And he hasn't yeah, given me a straight answer. And he has to sing. I am the champion, but in the yes, in his style. upper in his upper voice. Yeah. Yeah, Mandy's even said we are we are trying. <laughs> well, you know we something. We have wanted this. I know <laughs> where you stay now, Simon. You told me because <laughs> when I was getting my pop up here, so if you don't sing, I'll be visiting you. <laughs> right. Oh, safety car. You in. Yep, safety car's coming back in after Simon's just been threatened on stream. No, not threatened. <laughs> I wouldn't go as far as threaten. I say pol politely told. <laughs> politely told. I would not. If that's your polite. Yes, I'm Scottish. Oh, to be, you said that, not me. <laughs> <laughs> right. So this time we're going to see another driver. <laughs> Take the restart this time. It's going to be Mr. Morgan Stubbs, Steve, leading the championship in. The comp tier behind the man who's leading the elite this season, Mr. or the elite MRCX elite tier. Good then, mate. Steve is taking his time on the restart. And to be yeah, fair, he's, he's done quite well there. Yep, he just, he's just trying to catch people out. He caught a dynamite out there a while, but he's back up. Yep. Definitely, and that to be fair, everyone else has sort of got away quite ne nicely. Xavier past Martin on the midfield, Chris Bailey up to P P11 on track at the moment. He's going there. Smith's round. We've got oh, a contact no. run on the loop. But Kid Dynamite 9 has taken the lead of the race as well. Stoop knows what his battles are. Yeah, I was just going to say that, you know, as Stoop could see. A dynamite's pace and him coming up, and he's obviously just let him past. That's not yep. his battle. Nope, never at all. And, and, and it's the best thing to do. I mean, I've done it myself, seeing the higher tier, well, the elite tier drivers who come up behind you. No point trying to battle them, just let them past. 100%. Sure, in my race there the other night, I, by the first lap, I was passed by nearly them all at one corner in the space of like four corners. <laughs> I was passed it by yeah. like four people, by like five drivers. Some of those boys, uh, I mean, they're on rigs like myself and yourself, steering wheel and thing. Yep. The smoothness of their input, with the yeah, steering, the gears, the brakes, the throttle, it's unbelievable. But you say and that, the likes of Saviour is the best example. Katoa. He's not, a, he's just recently got himself a wheel, a rig. Yeah, but it was that just, is crazy, it was just quite, the pace. With a controller and then he went, yeah. just got his wheel oh, and all Oh, there's a driver, Ryan. Done. Sorry to interrupt oh, yeah. you. I think that's, right. who is it? Jackster. It is. It's Airways. Been, yes, Airways lost it as well. No, nope. Yeah, Airways. I think Airways went down one. Yes, he has. He's lost his uh, front end plate. Oh. Uh, Everyone seems to be getting away with slidey out of every corner. Only I'm yellow flag, though. I'm wondering if the tyres on 15 laps, what the wear is. True, actually. Because Jackson's on 14 lap mediums, uh, well, and saying that Airways is only 7 lap hard. Stupid oh, himself for 3 seconds, that might hurt him. That would majorly hurt him. What's the uh, interval? He's obviously 2 seconds behind Kit Dynamite now, who's just disappeared into the distance. Yeah, you know something? Baby Horn is only 2 cars behind and it's less than a second. Yeah, exactly, but and then there's Armagh Red, though, without a penalty. So he's... Well, this uh, is it as well. I mean, it's still early in the race, I mean, we're only 15 laps in, but... True. Single track, look at... He's back oh, up in the PA. Sorry to interrupt you, Wimax had a wee bit of a twitchy moment out of... 
into the veil chicane. Manages to keep it on track though, but that's going to allow Armara to really try and catch him as G-Star snipes his overtook Baby Hornet down the Hamilton Street. And he's now got Saviour to worry about behind him. Yeah, that's again, that's not his ball. I don't think Baby Hornet's um, fighting G-Star here. No, 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 but he's got Saviour all over the back of him now with the RS. Yeah. So is Sabre yeah. going to try and get it? And he thought about it. Chris Bailey had half a look behind as well on single track. Chris Bailey's trying to almost uh, his single track there. He's... Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is PG. I don't want to hear oh. about people trying to on with people. No, side no, side no come on. Baby no. Hornet, they threw cops. And he's now got the move done before cops. A brilliant move by Sabre. <laughs> We'll, we'll move past that quickly. <laughs> Baby Maybe. Honor d down at the 7, but that, yeah, that doesn't, he's still P2 and P3 just now. Yeah, P3 at the moment. Oh, uh, Smith is as close as Rebel oh, at the moment. Uh, sting, single, single track, past yep. Down the hammer, the hangar straight, he's got past him and... And so now Chris Bale wants before, to have a move sorry. into Vale. Baby Hornet is tumbling down the order. Oh, a bit twitchy as well out of veal. I wonder and if he's got a rain plate, must no he's not. Tires must, must be, be just the, Yeah. But as I was saying that so, earlier on, I mean look at what single track, he was up into P top ten, then he had to go away down to the back. Now he's back up into P seven along with Chris Bailey. Yeah, brilliant yeah. result. So far a brilliant recovery. Yeah. There's Anton has now got past Baby Hornet. As yeah, Waymax and Stu fighting side by side, heading toward around Brooklyn's. Waymax has yeah. got the move done, which has allowed Arma Red to close in on Stu. I but think Waymax, the guys on the 17 lap B jumps are starting to feel it now. Yeah, 100%. Stu and Arma, they're, they're holding their ground just now. They are alright, going through cops at the moment. They're still running. Quite close together, the closest battle on circuit though. Down in P7 and 8, Chris Bailey all over the bat is re slowly closing in on single track. As Saviour as well on G Star Snipes. We're gonna, are we going to see a move here? No, we are not. He's not going to be close, close enough. enough. It's been a battle. He's, he's been having a single track for a couple of laps now. I've been kind of going back and forth. Oh, G-Star having half a look at Arma Red into the breaking zone of Veil as single track and Saviour fight side by side round Veil at Charles and Claire Sergio Perez moment nearly round Veil, it's running side by side just to cast your mind back to that if you remember Sorry, I don't You know? <laughs> yeah, three goals Hamilton moment No Oh yeah, oh, aye, 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 aye. Here we go again, Chris Bailey in single track. Chris has got past him for the time being. We've got G-Star, not G-Star, uh, Arma having them look at Stu side by side with him. Who's going to be leaving them? Who has to back out? Arma's going to back out for the moment. And is going to stay behind for the time being. But these guys fighting ahead has allowed the, the elite boys involved. G Star is a tenth behind. Now Saviour is going to have a great run out of cops. Yeah, the the lap. Yep. On them soft tires, of course. Saviour is flying at the moment. To tell you what, he's got the pace on them. At the uh, it must be the crossover period from now then. But to look at the uh, the run he's getting on Armour Red. He flies past him. That's he's getting some some speed. That's what I mean, it must be the cross this must yeah. be the crossover between the mediums and hards. No, well, again he's he's uh, he paid for the halves just as I said that and I think the halves will be good for at least another five maybe eight to ten laps possibly. Possibly, yeah, for a hundred percent race you would definitely think. Yeah. Jammer with three seconds. The penalties are starting to rack up now. Four different That's drivers have got penalties now. It's 
he's quite fresh. Hard mediums, yeah, hard mediums, hard tires as well. <laughs> you know something I can't spoke right the right. <laughs> I think I think it's just been a long week, tired. No, another thing. Hard, hard, hard work. Stu almost running side by side, having half a look at the way Max. He's nearly compromised his exit three. Brooklyn's and now Luffy's, but he's stuck. He's kept it tidy now, and he's got back. He's recovered well. And he sort of got the better exit than Wimax as well. He's getting closer. But here's a question for you, um, Grant. Wimax is out of... Um, mm -hmm. Here's a question huh. for you. Yeah. For this race, how are we going to see it? There's a Hamilton Verstappen moment through cups. Sorry? Are we going to see a Hamilton Verstappen moment through cups, do you reckon? Yeah. Because we get stooped. And, and, and I think it's going to be between... Kid Dynamite and G-Star Snipe. Oh, that's a... That's a, a bold name, bold one. Yep. So Stoob and G Speaking of G-Star Snipe, he's running side by side with Stoob 3. Veil, Stoob's going to stick ahead of him. A brilliant bit of racing between them, but G-Star still gets the exit off the Hamilton, yep. onto the Hamilton straight and into Valley. They're going to run oh, side by side, a wee bit it. of contact. What a move. Who's going to come out ahead? They're still not finished, they are now. I think G-Star's got the move done, coming through the loop though. Oh, oh Stu has to back out. Look how close this is. Saviour's getting involved now as well. Waymax and Chris Bailey running side by side. This is unreal through the first sector here at Silverstone. Stu and Saviour now fighting it out. Saviour's got past mm -hmm. Stu. Really, really good bit of race and good driving there. 100%, that's what we like to see. Clean yep. racing as yeah, well, yeah, everyone right. being respectful. Excitement. To one another <laughs> and excitement, exactly that. But here we go. Just... Chris Bailey on stoop towards Sto oh, or not Sto uh done. Cops. He's got the move done. I've, I think we've just seen one. I think Anton and Single Track have just done it. But they still run side by side, three maggots and beckets. Anton decides to back out to try and get the exit. But we will move back to the front of the grid work. We're back to the usual to the usual suspects battling for position, Saviour and Chris Bailey. Back Chris on the Bailey track beside each other. Back to all there. Yep. But there you go, three elite drivers battling it and two, three and four. Yep, it's great to so see, but the two of them yep. are the usual ones. But as I was saying with G Star and Fred Dynamite battling where uh, Anton done it. They'll be saying to do it, but G Star's got a bit to do to catch up with Dynamite. He's flying away. Nine seconds between Kit Dynamite yep. and G Star Snipes, which is crazy. Yeah, it really is. He's but been something else this season. Sorry to interrupt, but he has been something else, Kit Dynamite. Yeah, he's, he's, he's been like that for a few seasons, but I think this season it's, it's all clicked together for him. Yeah, he's basically. I think we mentioned, me and a few, another couple of commentators have mentioned, he did take a wee bit of a step back. Or he was trying to, to think he was just trying to get stuff sorted or something, not too sure what it was, but... Yeah. He's back now and he's got a point to prove. He's got... Uh, I think he's proven his point just now, so far. Oh, 100%. I think, uh, through time, I think everybody just takes time out or... doesn't race as much. Um, rather than getting fed up with stopping racing, I think that's the best plan of action. Ah, uh, that's what it was. Mandy says uh, apparently he must have. I think he had a new, he had new a child. Quite uh, recently. Well, that explains it. But sometimes that break does the world a good. Oh, 100 percent. When you, you come back, and you have exciting, excited to race. Look at this for a battle through Vale though, Chris Bailey and uh, G Star Snipes running side by side. Now Chris has won the overtake. Oh, Chris is in the P2. Oh, he's he's down side by side at the moment. Wow. Three to Hamilton straight. Chris almost in a double overtake on both G Star and Saviour, but he's stuck behind Saviour at the moment. Obviously, these two practically love each other at this point, slash hate each other. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> this hate fighting. Love relationship. Oh, it is 100%. Oh, Chris Bailey's going for a move and Yep, side by side and he's with got it the done. German. And, oh, yep. big Bailey. He'll be <laughs> loving that. <laughs> the blowhole has got past his arch rival again. 
But tell right. you what, with all this fighting, uh, Anton has now got onto the back of G's door. Tell you, you must be a magician because you can read my mind. I was just about to say that, <laughs> just got past two not long ago. <laughs> It's either that or a great minds think alike. Oh, I think it's yeah, both. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say both. Well, no, no, why not? <laughs> well, here we go, Anton. Is he going to try and make a move on G-Star? You don't think he's close enough at this point? I wonder what happened to single try. He's, he's really... I wonder if his mediums, he's at 18 laps now, he's not... He's not Getting well, the traction even, he needs. Well, to be fair, even Stu when Kid Dynamite 22 and 23 lap old. Respectively, yeah, as well as <laughs> you know, Baby, Baby Hornet and Arma Red. 23 lap old. Well. Exactly with 21 laps as well, yeah. Step three so. seconds. Another 3 seconds for Stu, that's 6 seconds. Ooh. That is awful. J Mer's got 6 also, as Baby Hornet's got 3 as well as Airways. We'll turn off the detail, the tire details for the time being and let the viewers yep. see the full screen. I'm just one. <laughs> Baby Horn, that's going to play good for him with the stupid the six seconds. Mm, yeah, true. But, he, but at the same time, at the, the man right in front Baby of him. Arma. Yep. He's got another, he's got another <laughs> Irish man ahead of him. So that's not, he's he, not going to he, play he, nice. Yeah, I was just about to say, he won't be easy to shake off at, Nope, uh, not at all. ...on a race. Oh, but that's he's... actually, looking at the penalties, I mean, there's only four guys with penalties. Very Which good. is good to, it is good to see, we're yeah. almost to the halfway point of this race as well. Oh, it's Baby Hornets round wide at Chapel. I ride on board oh. with him for a second and he runs wide out of Maggots Beck, it's Chapel. He's, a single he's track has got position. past Steve. Anton has got past G-Star. And now look at this. Chris Bailey has gained five. Uh, it's down to five seconds to create the Kid Dynamite. What has happened to Kid Dynamite? The only thing I can think of with Kid Dynamite is he's on 24 lap mediums. Chris Bailey's on 12. Oh, so he's just better tires then? Yeah. People Maybe want to he sings. I think it'll be time to. I think it's time to get off. Tires. Yep. I agree with you, yep, 100%. But if you're Kid Dynamite at the front of the grid, what do you do? Because Chris well, Bailey is closing in on you and with rapid pace. The trouble you have, the, the longer you leave it, the more time you're losing. Very true as well, yeah. So is he hoping, is he trying to hold out for another safety car, do you reckon? or? Well, that's right, I don't think there's going to be a safety car, which I'm hoping for. Um, true. I mean, I like to see, I, I don't... I hate the safety cars are there for a reason, but no, we've had no. three, or three or four in the first 12 laps. It's, it's, we like to see a good bar racing. Yeah, legit, yeah, 100%. But well, there you go, Chris Bailey down to, oh, he's down to four seconds there, 4.8. Yep, we've, uh, the track seems to have sort of, or the grid sort of, now sort of spread out a bit now. It has spread out, but it's starting to, um, Stay steady if you know what I mean. There's only one or two positions. Oh, there you go, G-Star is the first so. person to, buy, to bite, oh, and he's got a five seconds for pit lane. This pit lane, obviously, the slowest and the longest pit lane on the F1, on the F1 calendar, the uh, Silverstone. And the really, really irritating the length of pit lane. It's what awful, I hate, the pit, I hate this pit lane. Um, comes out when you turn the left under the bridge. Oh, um, uh, Abu Dhabi? Abu, Abu Dhabi, that's it. Abu Dhabi. <laughs> Abu Dhabi, do! <laughs> Be born up to P8, but... Yep, are my reds up to the bucks. Again, 25, like, uh, um... But he's come out right behind, or no, never mind, I thought he's right behind the dri two drivers, but he's not. I wonder if those guys that are on those um, older, older mediums are doing a two-stop. Try to get as much mm. as possible out of the mediums and go on to the hards. One-stop then, rather, you mean? 
One stop, sorry, yeah. <laughs> just I'm just testing to make sure you were listening. Oh, well, yellow flag <laughs> in the <laughs> middle stack there. I think yeah. Wimax has lost it out of Brooklands. I mean, if they're getting th this amount of time on the BGM tyres, you have definitely see out with hearts. But obviously, uh, the drivers know, know stuff that we don't. We don't know how we're, high worn drivers tyres are, well, so they might have come back to them. That. Obviously there's the graining phase, but sometimes the cut the tires can come back to you towards the end of their life, so... Yeah, I think that was what happened to me in Japan um, on Wednesday night. Um, that graining phase, the tire, they just, just... The rear end went, and that was it. Yeah. Good, good night, Vienna. <laughs> no, I did make the mistake in Japan, but... We'll uh, not talk about that. The baby Hornet has now finally decided to say goodbye to them old medium tyres and has went on to a fresh set of hearts, but he's lost it in the pit lane. Oh no. And he's lost his front wing and there's a safety car. That's good news though. At least he can go around and try again. True, Change but that is wing. a heartbreak oh. for Simon. Yep, yeah, that's his strategy out the window. It is. Fresh hard tyres, cold hard tyres out of the pit lane is never fun. No. But straight out of the pit lane, he loses it. It's, uh, <clears throat> the exit when you're up, going up the hull section and uh, the, coming out of the pit lane, that's, mm -hmm. that's the dodgy bit. Yeah. I mean, Simon runs zero tracks control as well, so it's quite hard. But driver's now going to start the box, uh, box now. Chris Bailey in, Xavier in, the front three are in, we'll go onto the tyre screen to see who goes on to what. Anton's gone in, I'm sure, single track and bit, everyone's I'm sure going to box from now. Let's have a wee watch to yeah, see, yeah, yeah. hit Dynamite onto the fre oh, fresh set of hard tyres. Oh, that's good playing favour, G-Star Snipes, one lap medium safety car. Yeah, that catch. actually has helped. Catch it. How far behind is he at the moment? Where is he coming through? Yeah, uh, Stow. As Kit Dynamite's coming out. Oh, he's boxed. Wow. To be fair, it is a free pit stop, but at the same time, as you say, fresh why? tires. He's probably going to go under the hearts to the end now to join everyone. No, I'll tell you why. Has he not done two set of mediums? Oh, possibly, actually. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I think he's got a pit for hearts now. But Baby Hornet obviously has to come back in for probably another set of hearts, if not a set of mediums. Yeah, I'm just looking, Jai, Jai Mark, he's just pitted as well, he was only on... Um, I think he was on 18 lap. laps, he was on 18 lap. 18 laps, no hearts. Airways for the 5 second. Caldi, oh no! Baby Hornet's been double stacked with Jaxter! Oh no! And now he has to wait to get, obviously, the pit in the... Uh, and then the front wing no, changed as no, well. The only good thing is it won't lose much time when it's a safety car. No, true, but that is awful. But, uh, the spin out of the pit lane and then that. Yeah, that's an extra 10, 10 to 15 seconds on at your time. Literally. Well, we are back to uh, level running. As we pass the halfway point of this track, of this race. Yeah, I'll tell you, the top four or five guys, they... Uh, That's basically your championship in, in the, yeah, with the top four. They must have had some gap between the rest of the pack to be able to come back out in those positions. Well, it's for everyone boxed anyway, so... Yeah, true. But as you say, the only one who... Well, even at the same time, both Arma Red and G-Star haven't really been helped. No. Arma Red on two lap old hards. G Star on the lap old mediums. With everyone else yeah, around him fresh. He, he's just pitied for an R set of mediums. Who's this? Even, even though he was on a fresh set of mediums. Oh, G Star? Hmm. Yeah. And I'm sure he started on mediums. I may be wrong. I can't remember. Hopefully, people in the stream can double check for us. I think G Star has a plan. Plan of action. Let's see, he's got two challengers in front of him. Stoob currently leading the way for the challenger tier at the moment, followed by Armagh Red, and then Jay Murr is third in that. 
at the moment. Smith finishing ahead of Baby Hornet, which is major in the in the challenger tier standings. Yeah. Airways has got another five second penalty for pit lane speeding, and he's opted but, to retire. But literally just past the halfway point of the race, and there's been a lot of action, and our, there's definitely going to be another. Um, safety car later on I think oh, and right. this grid will change again definitely but obviously for now this battle for P1 between the top 4 is going to be crazy Anton yeah. Saviour, Chris Bailey and Kit Dynamite G Star did start on mediums you're correct so has he the box again then yeah because that's 3 pits of mediums he's done Right, okay. I'm sure. Guess we'll find out. Maybe go for a soft run at the end with G-Star? We guess we'll find yeah, out. Yeah, I think he's just trying to stay on the fastest possible tyre until... into the... lap 40, 45 maybe, possibly, or even... Yeah, you're quite right with that, perhaps, yeah. I mean, I mean Everyone sets a strategy for a race. As soon as that yeah, race starts, the strategy's out the window. Oh, 100%. I was going to say that, yeah, 100%. But, there's the call. Safety car has been called in. Kit Dynamite's going to watch Bart Mylander drive off into the distance, and he will become the safety car. It's been pretty, quite bittersweet for Kit Dynamite, to be fair. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. G-Star was on hard already, says Mandy. Was it? Right. Okay, thank you, Mandy. <laughs> so must be a wee glitch in my thing, because it keeps saying he's on mediums. It looks like Kid Dynamite's gone early. And he left Chris Bailey napping. Out of the into the veil chicane. And he's just gone. So yes, can he bridge that gap? Yep, can he get that gap back than what he had before the safety car? With just under tw with just under half a lap to go here at Silverstone. Can, who, you, who is going to end up winning this race? Who do you think? It's hard to call what, at this what, point, what, if I'm being honest. What, let's go. Who do you think for the elite and who do you think for the challenger? Um, for what do the, in the comments, think as well. Yep, let's hear you. Let's hear your predictions, folks. But uh, for the challenger or for the elite, I can see. If, I don't know. I can maybe see Chris Bailey staying there because his pace has been quite good today. Yeah, I'm just going to see. I think Chris Bailey could steal this race. And for the challengers, I know he's not had the best race and he's not in the best positions, but I can't argue against the man who currently leads the championship with him, Baby Hornet. Maybe a wee bit biased. Oh, you've just jinxed him again. Yeah, I have. <laughs> I've just jinxed him. <laughs> but, but I was uh, going to, I was going to say, I agree with you, people on the ball. So I think that Mark could win with a shout. He is, to be fair, but then he's got Stoop to get past. He's not easy to get past. No, and Stoop's got three seconds. So as long as he can stay ah, uh, yeah, time, true. In fact, how many? Oh, Jax is retired. And with oh. another court, full course safety car. Jax has lost it into Vale. And we have now a fifth safety car. But be careful, oh. drivers have to be careful coming out of the pits because safety car has just come out of the pits. He's two laps half. Probably didn't have heat in them. Possibly. Nope, driver's stuck behind Burnt My Lander at the moment. Coming round right. the loop. Jeezy, beeps, man. <laughs> Proper Scottish. <laughs> oh, I could, I could... I could talk Swahili if you want. <laughs> some people some people could argue we do. <laughs> uh -huh. Right, the toy lump. What? <laughs> the toy lump. <laughs> toy lump. No, yeah, the two of them. I don't want, oh, two of them. Boy, them. Give it further, us. 
Four. Four. <laughs> That's a fiver it says that. That's further as further I go. <laughs> and Aberdeen. 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 <laughs> oh, it's, it's uh, one <laughs> accent I just can't take to. It's the same over here, but we've got away four accents. We've about four or five different accents in Northern Ireland. Mate, I stay in Stirling. It's, a sm- it's called a city, to be honest with you. It's a town. Uh, but there's villages round about and there are mining villages. And they're only within, say, within a seven mile radius of each other. And they might East- retired. Oh, no way. In the pits, but he's retired. Oh, I wonder if he's had your wing damage. Or he's maybe got something oh, he has to it. It's hard to say. Yeah, quite a weird one. One of our only few American drivers, of course. Yep. From across the pond. Yep. Ah, uh, that's what I'm saying. Did it's you know? Huh? Oh? I know it's taking away from racing. But okay. Did you know America has the biggest naval um, in the world, like uh, military style. All Do you right. know who? It's the biggest navy in the world, right? Do you know mm-hmm. who started the American navy? I don't name him. Scotsman. Really? I can't, yep, I can't make the name, but the Scotsman started. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Didn't know it. Yep. It's quite. Uh, I shared it with a group. Oh, I'm in, um, I've got a photo of the things that Scots were invented, and some of them, you know, <laughs> even I was shocked, I was like, no oh, way. Well, of course, obviously, this is the 12th of April, and uh, which is a very historic day for Northern Ireland. Whoa. The Titanic really? set sail yeah. this day, 111 years ago to this day. Well, I won't say much about the Titanic, but the Titanic wasn't the ship that's that sank it was the, it was the Carpathia that was yeah. the ship that sank the Olympic wasn't it or the Olympic I think it was the Carpathia <laughs> something like that well they only have one, one claim to fame yep that's one claim to fame one claim to fame for Northern Ireland yep I've got my claim to fame as well but we'll tell you after the restart <laughs> there's also George Bell so we'll keep him quiet <laughs> but when right. is Kit Dynamite going to go this time Taking his time this time, and he is gone. He's away. I, yep. And this time, Chris Bailey is stuck with him. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's made sure he wasn't nothing there. Nope, he's be, he's woke himself up. Three yeah, water over his ba- face and woken himself up. Big Bailey woke up. <laughs> <laughs> Not long home from France, so he's probably still jet lagged. Mr. Chris Bailey, I've been watching his social media. Jet lagged. Ah uh, yes, Chaos Trade, there's another one for Northern Ar- for another thing from Northern Ireland. Oh nice. Uh, DeLorean was built in Northern Ireland. Penicillin, 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 <laughs> TV, telephone. Um can't remember what else of hundreds. But my claim to fame have you ever heard a famous explorer called Dr. David Livingston? I haven't. He was a he was the one that, uh, explorer that found Victoria Falls. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> He's... Victoria Falls is the waterfall in Africa. Alright, okay. It was, named after Queen, it was named after Queen Victoria. Alright. He's... I'm, I'm related to him through my dad's mum's side. Oh, yeah. So I'm related to a famous explorer. <laughs> Fair play. Yep. And the thing I've explored is my back garden. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Tell you what, so, though. Uh, sorry, go ahead. I was just about to say, so Chris Bailey, I, I'm watching just now. Between he's Kedina, all over the back of Kay. He's, yep, he's right up the hump. Chris <laughs> uh, Kid Dynamite. Yep. So. Some saviors in there as well. Anton. Single even single, track. I was saying, even single tracks quite close to them. 
But here we go, Chris Bailey on Kit Dynamite in down the Wellington Strait. And he's got the move done through by just pure pace on Kid Dynamite. So Chris Bailey, we have a new race leader. Can yeah, he Chris now Bailey disappear? Is, I mean, it doesn't matter what track it is, even in corners, but once that guy hits the straights, it's... Oh, well, uh, yes, well it's it's coming at a rifle. Yeah. Down to 12 drivers for the last 18 laps. Yep. So of course, obviously MRCX, you do you obviously do get uh, you do obviously get points for finishing, even if yeah. you're outside the top ten. You do get points just for finishing the race. Kill Dynamite's going to have another go back at Chris down the hangar straight this time. This is just going to be what it's like for the last few that for these eighteen laps. Yeah, it's mine it's yours. It's mine it's yours. <laughs> to me, to you, to me, to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> KRS so, now enabled as well. Baby Horner is roughly about a second and a half behind Stoop just now. Uh, and he's taken in front of him by three. Yeah. I think he's about two about seconds nearly behind Stoop. Two seconds, yeah. So he's got Arma Red next for him. Two so green cards. Five seconds to find to win this race. For his tier at least, yes. Yep. But we'll go back. We'll leave that for the time being. We'll keep an, We will yeah. keep an eye on that gap. We we'll managed to just take a move past Smith. Let's have a switch to that down the Wellington He's Strait. He's got the move done fairly quickly. Baby Hornet, I'm sure happy he'll, with that. Yeah, he'll be got a. Um, he'll be good to get back up to the top. Blue Max. Yep. Smith though as well. I'm sure Baby Hornet's loving that Smith's been overtaken because. Uh, that's his nearest rival for the championship at the moment. Yeah, but to be honest with you, it doesn't really matter because <coughs> Blue Max is different here. No, that's what, yes, I know, yeah, I know that, but obviously, that's what, but Baby Hornet's trying to get away from Smith anyway, but he's now got a car in between him. He's trying to make it two as he's getting closer to Arma Red in towards the down oh, the hangar straight down done. towards Stowe, and he's got the move done, is correct. Baby Hornet has overtaken the Northern Irishman. <laughs> he won't let me live that down now. Nope. And it's ne I'm next on his list. Is a very close friend of his. And mine. Stoob. Stoob. This is going to be interesting. You know something? I think something happened to Stoob because Baby Hornet was two seconds behind him just moments ago. He's been overtaken as well by the likes of G-Star and Bit recently, Stoob. Yeah, but trying to drop two seconds roughly. Yep, let's see if Stoob is going to fight him. Stoob's obviously on for a result. Here we go, Baby Hornet side by side with Stoob. DRS and all, and he's going to get the move done towards Brooklyn's. Yeah, that's yep. definitely. I, I want, yeah, even Armage part really. Uh, to, yep, he's um, getting right up the back. Yep. I'm wondering if Stoob's got some sort of damage. Possibly, or even. I don't know, he's on. Because that was Arm. two sayings he lost to uh, Baba. True. Now, now Baby Hornet's near enough a second in front of him. Yeah, but we're, we're, that's what he needs. Because if we look yeah. at the penalties, he's got nine seconds worth of penalties of Baby Hornet. So he has yeah. to disappear. Yeah, he's, he's got to find six in front of Smith and at least three in front of Stoop to... But it's the same as uh, Arma Red, who has not got a penalty. Nope. So Arma Red is in the prime position right now. I think Baby Hornet just... I think he'll be hoping for Stoop to stay in that position and him to... get away from Stoop. That's what he's wanting. Yep. We'll be hoping for that. Excuse me. Def definitely got a second on Stoop now. And I'm my red to St. Pine, Stoop. Yep, well, Just Baby Hornet's on. side by side Boys, with Bit back. W. He's got the move done, has he? Bit's going to do the switch back. Baby Hornet a wee bit twitchy out of the loop. Oh, he's still going to run side by side. He's got the RS. Bit doesn't have the RS, so Baby Hornet's going to get the move done. Brilliant move. Wow. Waymax has got past. Sorry to interrupt. Waymax has got past our my red as well. So this is ma massive for Baby Hornet. Very, very big. 
he just needs to he just needs to go because yeah, he's he now got a car between the mail and concentrate yep he's now got a car between him and Stube and he's got three four cars now between him and Armagh as yep. Chris Bailey's going to make the move for the lead of the race again on Kid Dynamite this is going to be what as I said it's just going to be what it's like for the next however many laps down to the final 15 laps that we're on to the, the business end of the race so every move every position counts as bit's going to make the move back on Baby Hornet and Stoob's going to get involved again Baby Hornet's had a moment I think he had a moment there still sticking with Bill at the moment yeah. this is not helping his case he's going to try and go for the inside on Bit W into the in the farm, side by side, going into the loop. Who's going to be harder on the brakes? It's going to be Baby Hornet. Of course it's going to be Baby Hornet. In his own words, this is his track. In his own words, he has said this is his track. That's and I think he stole the I think he stole, has he, he stole no, the RS off him. That. No, he stole the RS. That's why he made the move where he did. But Stube as well and Wumax side by side. Yellow flag, what's happened there? Single track, I think, made a bit of an error. Which has allowed G Star to get on the back of him. Baby Hornet, obviously, now nearly three seconds behind Mr. G Star Snipes due to the fighting with Bit. From P70 to P11, there's not really a great deal between them. It's the same as from P1 to P6. Yes. Or from well, P1 to P4 at least. It's Five kinda, and six have basically backed off a bit now. Yeah, the, the race is kind of flattening itself out now. It is indeed. So people are just fighting for whatever. There's four people fighting for the win, and there's about five people fighting for the points places. So it's going to be interesting. We've got what's that? 13 laps of this race to go. So it's definitely not over. In any stretch of the word. It's not over till the final whistle. Indeed, indeed. We need to keep an eye on this battle between Baby Hornet and Bit. He just needs to try and bridge that gap to Carl at this point to try and get away from the likes of Stube as well. Or just let or hope that Stube and Bit and all fight out fight. Because at the moment Bit's still stuck in his DRS. Yeah. So He's trying to just keep it together and not make silly mistakes. Yep, as he says to me all the time, of course, obviously, Baby Hornet being my driver coach in MRC. He, he's got good knowledge. It's just, he does. You know yourself. Um, especially he's just, he's no luck. He hasn't got, he, he know, he tell you this himself, he's no luck. He, he doesn't have a, a part a lot of the race. It really does. Oh, I think yourself. No joke. Oh, I know. I'm very lucky though. <laughs> you know something? I always say, yeah, I've got no luck. Right? But at least I've got some sort of luck. Hmm. You know, that's a positive way of thinking about it. True. So at the moment, Chris Bailey's still holding that lead. Kid Dynamite's run a bit wide as he misses breaking point into the loop. Or I think it was into entry and then the loop. Xavier's uh, right up the back. Oh, he is. Uh, is he going to try and make a move? He's had half a loop on kid. He's going to stick behind for the moment into Brooklyn. I think Anton's just sitting back and waiting for a moment to pounce. That's what Anton does. He's done it, but I've seen him yeah. do it many a time. He just waits to see to watch people fighting. And then you jumps in. It's a, it's, a, it's a good way of doing it as well. Yeah. Rather than put pressure on yourself to try and get the speed in the um, track and things like that on the exit of corners. I believe look how close he is to save here at this point. Uh, as well as... Uh, he, he was at the back of the grid. Yeah. Well, so, oh, same around. as Chris. Yeah. Chris was right at the back. The, the over, Saviour, single track, things like that as well, but I've yeah, been course. in like 
after spinning out and things like that in the pit and I mean you take Baby Hornet for instance, coming out of the pit and smash his nose and now yeah. he'll come up to P seven. He's it's been a good comeback drive from Baby yeah. Hornet so far. He's not he doesn't seem to be casting G Star but obviously G no harm to him. G Star is obviously the faster driver. Yeah, yeah. In the higher tier. But that's not his battle to try and catch him. Mm. Battle is oh. to, to get this uh, distance. Saber had a wee bit of a twitchy moment out of the loop. Uh, Pit Dynamics going to try and make a move on Chris Bailey. He's going to back out. He's thought better of it. He's going to take his time with still nine la or 11 laps. But there's race to go as Stoop is all over the back of Bit W. In P10 and 9 and 10. Where's Stoop going to be close enough to try and make a move? It's as they seem to have been pulling away from Stoove there. Savior and Kid Dynamite sitting side by side after they go through cops. Spot with a few saying pen away. Yep indeed. Savior's wrong wide at Maggots or at Beckett's rather. Oh Savior or oh. Kid Dynamite had, sorry rather. Side by side with Kid Dynamite. Yep, Savior tried has a uh, had Savior right, up there. Saber had kid um, compromise his exit, he still wants to stick behind him. So that is really smart driving from Saber. He's teasing Kid Dynamite, he's yeah. teasing him. Yeah. That G Star yeah, he's, he's, he, 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 he's not forced to pass there. No, he's not. He's kind of safe. As you said, it's like what Anton's doing, he's sitting back and waiting. Yeah. yeah and you know something, it's easy enough to make a mistake, especially on the brake after coming over. Oh, 100%. But especially if the car in front of you breaks earlier. Yeah, like me. Sandball the other night there. I had no wing. That's the reason I, I DNF. I had no wing. I had to break that 10, 20 uh, metres quicker. Aye. And Sandball wasn't expecting that. And he just came right in the back of me and was pushing me off the track. And I had the gravel. No brakes. And a wall. No. It's easy done. No, 100%. Um, that genuine mistakes like that happen. It's part of the race. Our man, really. Yeah, of course it hands. is. Well, we're th this race is on Wednesday night for us, of course. So, yeah, we bit of a recovery drive for the both of us. We both didn't have the best of races, but well, you know something. It's it's, it's actually quite a uh, educating us. Oh, Savior's got himself a three-second time penalty, Ooh, and he's going to try. Look at this for a battle. There were three wide going up to cops or to oh, Stowe. Chris Bailey's been passed by Kit Dynamite. Bailey's ran wide there. That's going to allow Savior through into second place. That is an unbelievable bar. move. Unless he can pull it back. So as I said, the battles are happening. Waymax is now caught right back up to Baby Hornet. Stoops seems to have backed away from that battle though as well, so... At the moment, the main battle on track is the front four. Battle for the lead. With the usual suspects leading the way. Yeah, how G Star is... 10 seconds behind. Wow. Yeah. Anton, as he said, he was running the uh, British livery, the red, white, and blue. Oh, we Max has just passed Baby Hornet. But that's not his battle. No, nope, Baby Hornet, I'm sure, just said, go ahead. That's a beautiful, I have to say, that's a beautiful livery from Wee Max tonight. Yeah, it's. it's... The silver yeah, with the red. Yeah, I catch it in. Yeah, yeah the but, silver yeah. blending in with the red, and that's beautiful looking. Really nice. So obviously we are eight or nine laps away from the end. Uh, at lap 50, I'm going to ask you for your livery of the day. So you may get thinking. I've, I've, you know something, I've been sitting here while talking away to you. Um, a piece of paper, writing down liveries, etc, etc. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven guys to decide out. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I've, I've nailed it down to three. Oh, right. Here, I tell you what, with this battle in between G-Star and uh, Single Trek, Waymax is getting the back of it. The so Waymax could be on still for a decent points finish with the in the Elites. 
Yeah, first time I hit it, it's right up the back end. Uh, single track here. He is, because that's, that's what I say. I was single track and G Star. I've been battling for the last five laps. Um, I'm sort of watching Baby Hornet now. He's all, uh, he's not, not far away from getting his three seconds. He needs to pop his stub. Yeah, that's all he needs is three seconds. Yep, but yeah. Armour Red is still only, is everything DRS of Stu. So at the moment, Armour Red is Armour on for Red. the win. Yep. In the challengers. Uh, apologies to yourself and the viewers. And, we can uh, hear that, yep. <laughs> yeah, you can hear it. Squeak. It's not my bed, it's. it's <laughs> there we go, Saviour on Cape Dynamite for the lead of the race. And Saviour's going to retake his lead. And he's ahead of Chris Bale, of uh, Cape Dynamite. What a drive that is. Whoa, oh, he's twitching next to him. Yep, there. just seen that. A wee bit of a twitch from Saviour, which is going to allow Kid Dynamite to get closer to him going down the Hamilton Street. Straight like I'm dancing. <laughs> but look how close this top three is. There's not even a, there's about five tenths between the three of them. Not even a That's second separates the top four. Oh, oh another twitch. Again. Saviour's not enjoying them 17 lap old medium tyres. We're heading to, no. I think we're heading to the crossover point of the two tyres. As Stoop gets himself another three seconds. So that has helped Baby Hornet majorly. It's so helped Hornet. majorly towards Stoop. Well, in that way, yes. But he's Arma still Red. got another second, six seconds to find for Arma Red. And he's yep. all got some laps to do it. So... Is Stu going to play the friendship game? And is, is he going to try and back up Arma Red and let Baby Hornet disappear? Yeah. What's uh, his bat and challenger? I think he's elite, if I'm not mistaken. He's tier 2. Or he's uh, tier 2. Uh, what's it called? Uh, expert tier? Right. He is, That's yes, yeah. so he's... Yep, yep. So, we've only got four challengers left. That's good points for Smith as well. Yep, that's what, T4, which is 12 yep. points, but at the same time, Baby Hornet's getting 15, which is still gaining. Oh, but that's, sorry to start here, we'll go back to that in a minute, Baby, uh, Kip Dynamite and Saviour running side by, Warrior running side by side through Veil. Yeah, and Anton was just about, uh, Chris Bale side by side at the same time. <laughs> Alright, so as I say, I think, you know, obviously, Baby Hornet is still going to finish with more points ahead of Smith. Yeah. So at the moment he's oh, still... Yeah, well, so what is it, 15 just now? Baby finishes... Hornet's going to get 15 where he finishes, as it stands obviously, with um, with the time penalties. Is it just 15 he'll be finishing P3. one? He'll be finishing P3. So he'll be, or P2 rather, actually, so it'll be 18. Mm -hmm. so, and Smith's yeah. getting 12, so what's that? 6 points 20... extra. 6 on top of the 15, so he'd be... No, it'll be 12 on top oh. of the six, 12 on top of the 18. Baby Hornet's no. going to finish second on track at, as it stands. Yeah, 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 but what I'm saying is the difference between what he's just ahead just now and the, the thing he's 15 oh, ahead just now. Oh, right, So the sorry, difference yes. is six. So 21 points. Yeah, 21 be. points clear at the, the thing. I, I was just a way to say for the life of me, I can't think. And me being a joiner, working the numbers every day of my life, I can't do sums. <laughs> Simple <laughs> mathematics. <laughs> That's the same as us all, bro. The same oh. as us all. I'm only 37 and I say it's old age. <laughs> oh, are my reds lost? No, Stoob's lost it. Oh, Stoob's Out of down. Beckett's, oh. Stoob's down to P11. Stoob's then made a, had a moment out of chap into Chapel. That's massive for Baby Hornet. It's massive but. for Arma Red. Yeah, but Arma Red's losing time. He's down to five and a half seconds. Five and a half. Yeah, so he is. So that Baby Hornet needs what more? Still another three seconds, doesn't he? Yeah, just over three seconds. But three point five, three point six seconds he needs. Something like that. Yep. To even just to even think of the race win. Yep. You know what? The best possible outcome here for Baby Hornet is if he can get past Wemax. But that yeah. we have. Wemax and. Single track, he's got Wimax and single track behind, with it in front of him. 
three areas, you say if you can get past them to get a cars the cut get cars between Hit an arm out of red and try and get into clear air. Clear air, air then. Yes. Gonna be interesting the last few laps here, like. It is indeed. Especially at the front of the grid as well. We're at five yeah. laps to six laps to go here. In the chal in the uh, MRC X round eight. So just over the halfway point now. Coming towards the business so, end of this season. On the the, the elite sector class. Um, yes. What would be the difference between Bailey and Savior now? Then? So at the moment, it's going to be if uh, Chris uh, or Kit and I currently leads. Yep, ten points so, yeah. difference after this race if it stays the same. Well, Kit and I leads by uh, Anton by fifteen points. What's Anton saying? He is, Chris Bailey's third, so 24 points behind Kid Dynamite at the moment. So he's still going to be, he needs to get past him. Xavier is yeah. down in fifth. 70 is well behind, he's 73 points behind the lead. So he needs this win. Go Xavier. Five, I think. Eight, thirteen races in the season. Or is it thirteen races in the upper as well? Yeah, thirteen races for season thirteen. So, five races to go, which is a hundred points, isn't it? If you count it that way. Yeah. Who yep. has the fastest lap? Is another question. Just yeah, just out. Chris Bailey. A twenty-eight point nine. What, do you get extra points for that as well? Okay. You, uh, don't ask, no actually, you're right, no. sorry, no. You don't get the extra points for fastest lap in X, you're right. My apologies. Oh, yes. What's happened? Nothing, I'm just looking at this. Gridden, I'm not, it's going to be an exciting last three laps. Oh, big time. Well, you've got one lap to decide your livery yeah. of the day. I think I've got well, mine, if I'm being honest. As Kit Dynamite's going to take the lead of the race. Oh, he's done it. He's right on board. Down the Wellington Strait. He has got the move done. Good move. Bailey's on the outside. Save you up. Don't think he's close enough for the time no, being, is Bailey? Just to be honest, camera was looking at it. Yeah, so anyway, I'm, I've got it nailed down to... Four guys, so okay. this isn't the order that I've chosen, man. Yes, just no a, particular order. So I've got Jaima. Okay, let's have a look at Oh, he's out, actually. He's, he's out. out. Okay. This is what I'm saying. Jackster, who is out as well. Okay. Made a really, really nice livery. Wumax and single track. Oh, and the right, reason okay. I like, uh, the reason I like single tracks is the car he based it on. Yeah. I, I really, uh, I like that livery on the original car. Uh, speaking of Waymax, he's now got past G-Star Snipes, they're side by side going through still. Oh, touchy too. <laughs> we, we close, really close, they're still going to fight it, Waymax is going to back off for the time being and going to try and get the run out of Vale down the Hamilton yeah. Strait. It My doesn't move. seem like he's going to get them out of the run. But Baby Hornet all over the back of single track as well. Going down now Ham Hamilton straight into Valley. Oh, he's got 6.3 on our man now. He has Who indeed. Saviour has the lead back. Down the Wellington straight. Saviour knows what he needs to do. He's also got that three second time penalty, don't forget. So at the moment That's he's going to drop the P4. Yeah. That's he's probably why they like to have Anton and other probably staying back. Yeah, he's, he's, he's just not managed to get the gap he needed. No, he hasn't. On Dynamite and Bailey. Sorry, big Bailey. <laughs> <laughs> so, my lovely 
Yes, go ahead. Livery of the day! Kids animates got a wee bit of a twitch out of stove. That is a major twitch from Kid Dynamite. That is not the thing you see every day. No, I've just seen that. I'm on board with uh, Chris Bale of the Now. Ah, oh, signal oh, tracks got a three second. But it's not really affecting it, but it's big enough effect in, I think. G Star's round wide. Baby oh, Hornet's gonna get back three. Him. Yep. That is major. Oh, that is major. He's 6.6. He's actually gaining. Oh, drop now. Red's gone to 6.8 now, or 5.8 behind yeah, them two up. after them fighting, yeah, but let's up. see if... I'm looking at the fight between Wimax and G-Star in the midfield. Sorry, to interrupt you, your, uh, no, livery, of the day, your livery of the day, go for it. I'm going to give it to Wimax. <laughs> to be honest, it's hard, to, uh, it's hard to argue with it. I'm going to give it to Wimax. Let's have another double oh. check. But on oh, course, was, yeah, I was just going to say, given it to Wumax, but it was a hard decision between him, Jackstar, single track, and Jai Murk. Even even Arapel's livery, that was up there with it. To be honest, I'm going to agree with you with Wumax, but at the same time, a close second for me. Not to be biased, but Stoob's livery looks real. It was really nice tonight. Yeah. From I, the beginning, I, his livery was great. So I think I would give my second place to Jai Ma and then it would okay. be Arapel. So congratulations to Wimax on the livery of the day as we start the final lap here at Silverstone. They're currently led by Saviour behind him being Kid Dynamite and then Chris Bailey. Anton currently fourth with G Star in fifth. Wimax followed by Baby Hornet currently leading the way for the Challengers, Arma Red six seconds behind him, which is major again. Mm, yeah, because at the moment Arma Red he just needs to hold it off. And Arma Red's taking the win for the challenger. Yep, we better contact between Wimax and G Star down the down, round the boy. loop. No. Who's going to come out on top of this battle? It's going to be Wimax. Wimax. He's got the move done. He's got it done. Good move. Yep, G Star is really pushing though. But this is allowing Baby Hornet and, Vo and Single Track oh, to get Baby involved. Oh, Baby Hornet's inside you. Oh, he is. Oh, is he going to try it? G Star's it? held it. He's got to back out. Yep, he's going to back out of it for the moment, is Simon. Yeah, I think that's. I'm not saying he's. Oh, but Single Track's going to fight back. Down ground still. We've seen Ooh. the moment happen. Finally. Right, it took us to the last lap, but we have seen it on stream now. The yeah, two two wide going round still round cups, which is great to see. Good race, but special in the last coming lap round the last corner. The top four, Savior, will take the result, but it's going to be Kid Dynamite who will take the result after Savior's penalty. Chris, ba congratulations to him. Chris Bailey is going to take P two. Savior and G Star fighting it out. For the last, for the five, for P5, right up to the line, and it's going to be G Star Snipes just about. Anton finishes in third, as I say. Savior finishes in fourth. G Star Snipes is in fifth, followed by Wimax in P6. Single track in seven. Arma Red does take the win for the elite team, for the challengers. Congratulations. Baby Hornet couldn't bridge the gap enough. No, and the, and we here. have a Northern Irish podium man at the top step. Very unlucky from Baby Horn. He, he got the six and a half. But I was just looking at the finishing there. That's massive in the elite as well for Chris Bailey. Finishing two positions above Saviour. Oh yeah, definitely. But what a race from everyone. Both sides of the field. Yeah, very, very entertaining. It was a oh. bit slow to start with, but we got yeah. here. Full British podium as well. Kit Dynamite obviously English as well, but except he runs the Continental flag. But a full British podium is what we love to see. Union Jack flying high. Oh yes. <laughs> and there's an Ulster flag at the top of the Challenger tier as well. <laughs> 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 You've got to have that. Your home flag. It's in the game. 
It's great. I don't know. So then, to reiterate, the grid is as follows. Kit Dynamite takes the result, followed by Chris Bailey in P2, Anton in P3, Saviour is in 4th, followed by G-Star in 5th, Wimax is in P6, Single Track in P7, Arma Red in P8, but with the number in P1 for the Elites, or for the Challengers, followed by Baby Hornet in P9, Bit W is in P10, Stube is in P11, and Smith is the last of our finishers. J Moon, Jaxta Airways, Bobo, Europel, Loppy, and Ghost Rider are our retirement drivers. So, Grant, your driver of the day, please. Yeah, it's quite a hard one. Um, I think I'm going to give it to Anton. Okay. We'll I'm going to do something that I haven't done all season, and, that, and he hates me for not doing it. But it's going to, I think it's the right time now. In his home race, I'm going to give it to Chris Bailey. I'm going to That's say, I'm going to give Chris Bailey driver of the day today. He, he hates me for not giving him driver of the day. <laughs> well, now so he has it then. He's been given, I'm going to give him his driver of the day. Well done, Chris. Yeah. You finally twisted my arm enough. I, I couldn't argue, I can't argue with that. Um, the, the reason I gave Anton was he pitted a number of times at the start of the race and he was a way down. Yeah, to be fair. He's, he's finished high up. See, miss the, the, the elite drivers, obviously, but I feel yeah. Anton done well. Been a great race. It's been a great night. That's only the start of it, of course. Monday night's next. The elites and the experts will be taken to the Silverstone circuit on Mondays, followed by on Wednesday nights by myself and Grant on the sport and the comp tier, respectively. So the action never stops in MRC. Heading towards the business end of season 13 of MRC, which is immense to hear. But Grant, thank you for what, joining me. Thank you for having me, and it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure as always. Thank you for everyone that's joined us tonight. See you on Monday night. Good night. <laughs>